Hey, what up you guys? It's Sassy Assassin here, back with another Amberlynn Reed video. So, uh, before I begin, I just want to remind everyone that this video is under the Fair Use Act of 1976. It's not meant for children, it's not meant to bully or harass anyone, Amber included. In this case, this is, video is meant for constructive criticism, commentary, thoughts, opinions, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, research, etc. If you have a problem with a big person like myself having an opinion about another big person making commentary about another big person, I am sorry that you feel that way. Just keep in mind that my criticisms are more about her, in this case Amber's, um, conduct on her channel, the manipulating, the gaslighting, the, um, monetization of her critical health issues, and not her weight. Um, I'm not criticizing her for her weight. Um, I want her to get better. I want her to be happy, happy, happy and healthy. And just keep in mind that I'm entitled to my opinions just like everyone else, regardless of my size. It's, I find it ridiculous. Excuse me, I had a burp almost. I find it ridiculous that just because of my size, I am somehow excluded from having an opinion. It's ridiculous. It's just, it's stupid. Um, also, I want to remind everyone that, that um, if I talk about things like, you know, getting a new mic and a chair, and you know, for, for example, that is not me e-begging. I don't agree with e-begging. I don't like it. I, I've been raised to not beg for money from strangers, but I am open to donations, but I'm not asking for it. So I hope this clears up any confusion in the future. As for the comments, still an issue with that, and I'm sorry if I don't respond. So that being said, if you have any comments or questions or concerns about this video or any of the videos that I've made so far, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts, and I'll get back to you as soon as I am able. So, all right. Let's get into this because it's a spicy, spicy night. Oh my lord, you guys. That Snapchat rant. Like, I just literally got done doing that Snapchat rant. And this is part, basically part two of the drama. Um, that rant was insane. Like, there was a lot of valid points that she made. But at the same time, it's like she was kind of kicking herself in the face a bit. But... Just my take on things. Alrighty then. So I, I'm kind of liking the look. Um, it's different. The hair. Um, it's not something I would do, but uh, it's cute, I guess. Um, her earrings match, so she color coordinates, which is kind of cute. All right. Um, I, and I, I, this is a, seems to be a cardigan, so I don't know what, what she's wearing underneath, but it's cute. I wouldn't. I would. I would wear it. I got myself a long kind of cardigan thing too. I I have one for my my green dress, but I they had this baby blue powder blue one that I wanted so bad. There's like the same design but a different color, and it's like a loose material it's for like spring and summer and stuff like that. And um, I just really love it, you guys. I every time I wear it, I get a lot of compliments for it. So it's just like I was thinking about wearing it with a pair of cutout, you know. Um, with jeans and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so glad that I got it because those were selling out at Myers. But anyways, um, let's get into this video. Because, uh, by the way, this is on HookTube. And I have it sped up to 1.25. But I will speed it up if I feel it necessary. And probably will uh, for 1.5. Just because this is on 30, this is 33 minutes and 18 seconds long, so... But I don't want to. I, I don't want to speed it up so much to where I'm missing what she's saying. So, I will try to keep my commentary to a minimum in this video. But the Snapchat rant, you guys. Oh, I had a lot to say. I had a lot to say. Hey guys. So I am going to be discussing a rumor about me. Woo. Okay. So I'm actually going to be doing my makeup while clickbait. I discuss this. this yeah. video well, this is isn't not. clickbait, but yeah, this video is clickbait. Um. But not really, but so oh, whatever. Oriented. This is nothing whatever. to do with my makeup. Um, it's just this is really on my mind and I really want to talk about it. Oh, so. if you're wondering what I'm drinking right now, because it looks weird. This is actually a yogurt drink. It's a plant-based cashew milk with mango. 
Um, it has a lot of healthy probiotics in it. I got it from Whole Foods, and it's really good. I drink. I, you know, I'm I, I'm trying to get through this so I can get to my other yogurt, but I really really like it, you guys. I, I'll have to find the brand and link it because I totally recommend it. This is the time that I have now to discuss it, so I'm just going to be doing my makeup, my morning routine as I talk about this with you guys because I feel like it's really important in my opinion. So, all right, okay, we're going to be talking about something that's not okay to be spreading around. Um, as you guys know, I've been having some weird symptoms going on with my body. Um, my eye, twitching, wait, weird headaches. Numbness. Wait, I know that bottle. That's a leave-in conditioner. What, what is she doing with a leave-in conditioner for a makeup routine? Tremors in my body, pain. I don't know if this is a <laughs> She's put, oh my God. I've actually used that living conditioner. I had actually, because I recognize the bottle. I wasn't a big fan of it, but um, she's putting it on her face as moisturizer. Oh, that is hilarious. Amber, girl, honey, boo boo. That ain't a face cream. Oh, that tickles me. <laughs> that tickles um. me. Just <gasps> look at her spread that conditioner that I've never had before. And they all Dude, that is women. she is gonna break out. Never, so, um, I've been stressed maybe before. she's intentionally I've doing it for trolling. I or maybe she thinks that it'll work as a face cream. I've been lack of sleep before, and I've never had any of these. Dude, things. get yourself some Neutrogena, get yourself some. Um, well, she has more dry skin, so I don't know. I, I have so, more oily skin, but. I narrowed things down and I didn't feel like this <laughs> Can't get over was it. thing that my body has experienced before. Can't get over Usually it. in that type of situation, you make a doctor's appointment. Yes. Um, What's she doing now? Is she priming? I would suggest anyone make a doctor's appointment if your body suddenly starts doing something that scares mm -hmm. you and terrifies you. And is hurting you and is honestly messing with your daily life. Okay? I don't care what anyone says. Do it. Make a doctor's appointment with well, you. Well, this is a, t a change from... I don't like going to doctors. I don't like taking medication. The doctor. So, that's what I did. And I know for a fact, um, if I would have talked about this... <laughs> And I wouldn't have seen a doctor. I would have been urged to see a doctor because I can't tell you how many times I have talked about something medical with you guys and people were just like, see a doctor, see a doctor, see a doctor. Like, why are you telling us? See a doctor, see a doctor. So that's what I did. I saw the doctor I've been seeing. And uh, you guys know about all that, uh, what she told me to do. So a lot of the times, yeah, we know. when you feel in your gut, that something is wrong with you. Dude, that is not a foundation brush. It drives me nuts. I'm having a little bit of vegan M&Ms, okay? They're by this brand called Unreal. It's my snack for the day. I want a second opinion for a doctor. If you guys hear noises, it's my cat playing with some toys behind me. Like a little cutie the, And this is why her so. makeup... Okay, I know this is kind of not related to what she's talking about, but this is why her foundation comes off. Because she's not... It's not... This brush isn't made to blend it. I know she thinks it's working for her, but it's really not. If you want... And if she's been using the leave-in conditioner for her moisturizer, no wonder her skin is still dry. And she breaks out. Like, oh my god. Somebody needs to sit down with her and... And teach her what the type of products she needs to use and shit like that. Like, for real. And this is me not being like a judgy bitch, but it's just like, that would improve her situation. Her uh, skin situation. Oh, this thumbnail, though. <laughs> Maybe I should snip it. Hold on. I think I'm going to snip it. Mm -hmm. 
do okay snipping him okay there we go never feel afraid for a second opinion because doctors can be wrong doctors are amazing they save lives they are wonderful they are special they help the world but doctors are humans okay they're not robots Dude. and they're not perfect they're amazing and i'm grateful for every single one of them especially right now putting their lives at risk True. for us okay so i got another doctor just for this not you know i'm not specialist to make this my new doctor i just wanted a second opinion because that was important. well you need to here's the thing so people don't get confused amber you need to clarify what kind of doctor it is and what they're seeing you for is it a specialist or is it a primary care doctor if you were in your videos if you want to talk about this in the future and not get the hate that you're getting you need to specify what kind of doctor it is just a tip because i was scared and that is okay that is all right i pay out of pocket with my money I am paying for every single visit. She flexing. I she flexing about not having insurance and paying out of pocket. I swear to God, maybe another reason why she doesn't get insurance, hasn't gotten insurance is because um, she flexes. Like, oh, look at me. I can pay for my own medical bills. I don't need the insurance. Idiot. I have, even before I have to visit. Okay. So I have every right to get a second opinion. And so do you. Never let someone make you feel like you don't deserve a second opinion or a third, possibly a fourth. So, I saw two doctors. Which um, leads people to believe, despite your um, venomant, you know, I don't doctor shop when you're going to multiple doctors for different opinions and shit like that. That you're doctor shopping. That is the definition of doctor shopping. Jesus, girl, you're s whatever. Regarding my symptoms, and they both. I mean, something uh, completely different. I mentioned instead of just going from one doctor to another so quickly, at least try out their treatment plan to see if it works. Like seriously, girl. Seeing a third doctor, because how is it that I saw two doctors within the same week? Told them the same symptoms, and they both have a different... That's how it works! Not every doctor is going to have the same opinion, you dumbass! Oh my god. She says, if doctors aren't robots, you know, they're great people. Honey, then they're not going to have the same opinion. Idea of what's wrong with me, okay? That low-key freaks me out like what oh my god she's so stupid so i wanted to see a third doctor and now all of a sudden people are saying things like you are doctor shopping is amber in doctor shopping okay first yes thing, doctor shopping is illegal i don't know if you guys know that okay yeah but you're actually doing it so <laughs> okay and i'm not trying to be rude and the reason why i'm coming off as rude is because you should not spread rumors like this especially when um but you're doing it you're spreading your own rumor you dumbass you are doctor shopping what you're doing is the definition of doctor shopping oh my god the thing that people she are is truly on, dense I'm not talking about just commenters i'm also talking about reaction channels um and if i'm talking a little loud it's because i think they're playing music in there or something and i don't want to get copyrighted so <laughs> um so it's not just Oh, the troll commenters on my channel. No. It's also reaction channels. Hi, how are you guys doing? Hello. So. Yeah, I know, there I know you love us because we're the ones that get you money. Is Amberlynn Doctor Shopping. That's in their title. Dude, That's what just keep in mind, about. Amber. Just keep this in mind. And I should have said this during the Snapchat rant video, but. Keep this in mind. Your channel would be shit without us. You wouldn't have the uh, the infamy, the views, the drama circulate. You know, you wouldn't have that 
if you didn't have us. So just keep that in mind, honey bun. Okay. That's what's floating around now. That is what is being said on all kinds of places. I have gotten so many messages regarding it. And honestly, it's not okay. It's not right because again, it's illegal. So I don't know if you guys know what you know what you're doing it though. Is and I don't know if you okay. Let's um, okay, girl. Are just going with the. If you want to go, do just be technical shit. All right. Now, if I'm wrong, if my if if she's right, then I will say yeah, she's right. Doctor shopping definition. All right. Doctor shopping is the practice of visiting multiple physicians to obtain multiple prescriptions for otherwise illegal drugs or the medical opinion that one wants to hear. It is a common practice of a drug addict, suppliers of drug addicts, hypochondriacs, or patients of fetitious disorder and fetitious disorder imposed on another. So, Amberlynn. I'm sorry, I keep, I have two screens, so I keep on looking at this, this screen where I can, you know, this screen, but I need to be looking at this one. Okay, so Amber, this is the, look at this definition right here. I'll read it again. Doctor shopping is the practice of visiting multiple physicians to attain multiple prescriptions for otherwise illegal drugs or the medication, medical opinion, excuse me, that one wants to hear. It is a common practice of drug addicts, suppliers, or, or of dry, drug addicts, hypochondriacs, or patients of fetitious disorder, of fetitious disorder imposed on another. That is you. You're not the drug addict, Amber. You are the hypochondriac. And, the you know, you're the per kind of person that is seeking a medical opinion that will suit your narrative. Okay, you you may maybe you're not consciously doing it, Amber, but you're actually doing it. You're not maliciously doing it on purpose, but you're technically you are doing it. You need look, here's the thing, Amber, and this is my advice to you from a person who has a lot of health issues, okay? And who has seen plenty of doctors. You need to give that doctor you're seeing a chance and actually try to work and see what they want to do before just jumping to another doctor. Because every doctor is going to have their own opinion, their own interpretation of what they think is wrong with you. Now, if over a time, let's say six months maybe to a year, and you don't feel that you're getting the help that you need, you feel like the treatment isn't working, and you want to get a second opinion, then yes, that would be a good idea but just jumping from one doctor to another just for an opinion that you don't like is your doctor shopping now I was wrong in my last video I I I, I didn't know about the like the law about the doctor shopping um, but yeah it is legal no matter if you have insurance or not so by speaking about it like this, Amber, you're actually putting your own foot in your mouth. Hope it doesn't bite, come to bite you in the ass. Or, no, in this case, kick you in the ass. Alright. Do, 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 do. Flow of things. Because there's also a rumor that I poop in the shower. Woo! And one person started that rumor. And now all of a sudden everyone believes it, okay? That's usually what happens. If you hear a noise, Ew. there's um, scratching on her cat scratcher. So... One person says a rumor, and it becomes a rumor train, and everyone believes it because it's fun. It's fun to have drama. It's fun to have entertainment. She's so stupid. She doesn't get it. Oh, my God. She <coughs> Let me break this down for you, Amberlynn Reed. Okay? You are a public figure. You have opened yourself up to ridicule. Just like every other YouTuber and public figure out there. And in order to, to remain successful, you gotta learn to take some shit. No pun intended. And I don't think that you poop in the shower. 
and I know there are plenty of ridiculous rumors about you that I just like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, who makes up this shit? It's so stupid. But girl, you're not making it any better by the way you act. You are a narcissist, Amber. And I can't help but wonder if you are actually a sociopath. <laughs> just... Just so ridiculous. Like, she... This... All this... She's just... She's just literally... Handing it to the... Ha to the... the those... Those really tr true haters... On a fucking platter. Now, the true haters in my definition... Are the real mean people that do spread the rumors that are just mean to be mean? Those are the real haters, and you're just, you're literally just giving them fuel for their fire. Jesus, girl. When will you learn? So, if you don't know what doctor shopping is, yes, I just read the. Okay, let's hear her definition. You get different doctors. You make false claims of your symptoms. To get prescribed medicines from several different... That's places. not the only reason, girl! Of course she's just gonna pick the one part of the definition. Oh my fucking god. You, girl, that's what I'm saying. You sit there and say, I don't do things to change the narrative, to suit my narrative. What are you doing right now? Girl! Oh my god. God, I fucking hate my flabby ass arms. So... Something that an addict would do. I want you guys to know I don't take medicine. I'm scared of medicine. I take mood stabilizers and actually only one. I don't know why I did that plural. And I take a medicine for my anxiety. And here and there I'll take a freaking Tylenol if I have to. Okay. That I can understand why she's scared of medicine because her parents are drug addicts and she doesn't want to end up like them. Simple psychology. Doctor shopping is. I don't know if you guys know that. Yeah, well, Amber, that's not the only definition of. That's not the that you're you're only explaining a part of a part of doctor shopping, just to suit your narrative. I think you know that you're a hypochondriac in some ways. Probably I'm making a lot of people mad right now, but it's not okay. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm just honestly, I'm amused. To spread rumors like this on I'm someone. I'm tired of rumors, Todd. Was that Lindsay Lohan song? The rumor song? I hate doing my eyebrows. I hate it. Is that doctor shopping? Me getting different doctors to get prescribed medicines so I can get high. No. I am not getting prescribed medicines. We're not saying not that you're doing that, Amber. Girl. Like, girl, we are saying that you're going to multiple doctors to get an opinion that suits your narrative, which you are doing. You you may not realize it yourself, but that is what you're doing, technically. And you are literally putting your foot in your own mouth where this foot could come out of your mouth and kick you in the ass if you're not careful. Because there probably would be some person out there who could report you to the fucking medical board and say this chick is blatantly doctor shopping. And I wouldn't put it past any of the, the true haters to actually do that. And I hope I didn't give anybody any ideas by saying that, but... What medicines? If someone prescribes me medicines, I'm probably not going to take it. Point blank period at the end. Then, oh my god! If someone... If really? Then what's the point of going to the doctor, you stupid shit? Like, oh my, sorry, sorry, sorry. What is the point of going to the doctors if you're just... This is what I'm saying. The, oh, my God. This is so stupid. You are so stupid. Like, seriously. You, th this confirms that you're only going to a doctor that will suit your narrative. You're not going to take a prescription that the doctor recommends because you're afraid of getting high or medicine. Okay. It, really? You need to check yourself, girl. Like, seriously. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, so God. So, for people to be saying that I'm doing this illegal activity when they don't even know what it means. Yes, we slander. do. Oh, my God. Okay. Only one. Okay. Any idiot, okay, can go onto Google and put in the doctor shopping definition. It does not take a rocket sciences. I just showed you, okay, what the definition is. 
the Wikipedia version, but seriously, girl, that's what you probably did. That's what you probably did. So, bitch, please, please. I don't oh my god. No ifs. And I'm getting big mad. Seriously. Um, it's not okay to jump on a bandwagon just because it's fun and entertaining, especially when it can ruin somebody. When you need a second, third, fourth opinion regarding that is doctor shopping. You can look if you were doing it because you weren't satisfied, at, you know, with the treatment. Okay, over an extended period of time, then no, that would not be doctor shopping. But if you're just doing it in the same week, that is doctor shopping, you stupid dumbass. You dumbass. Maybe somebody should report you because you're act you're doing it, Amber, and that would be the kick in the nuts for you. Like seriously. You need to check yourself, girl. Miss Smug. That is not doctor shopping unless you're purposely trying to fake information. Oh to my get god, medicine. you're so that fucking doctor shopping. You're fucking stupid. Selling. Okay, you know what though? Um, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to I'm you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a hold of my doctor. Okay. I'm gonna write them on the my chart and I'm gonna say, I need what what is your definition of doctor shopping? I know they're going to ask me why I'm asking this, but um, I'm going to get it from a nurse, from a medical professional, and then we'll see, okay? And if I am wrong, and if Amber is on, tra on track with it, okay, and if the Wikipedia is wrong, and all things online are wrong, then I will say, yeah, okay, I was wrong. But as it stands right now, the, how I'm seeing it, okay, you are, the, you are technically doctor shopping, so, just I don't know if people know that, and I'm not. Where are you to getting your facts from? Like a know-it-all or a whatever, because where are you getting your I facts from? With drug addict parents, so I do know a little bit about wanting medicine to get high. I do know a little bit about that. Okay. All right, we, we're not legal. disputing that. It is a felony, and I don't do illegal things. I am not in high school anymore. I used to do illegal things in high school. Um, okay. Nothing like that, You're though. a rebel. Yeah, Not but you nothing. fucking smoked weed, and that was illegal, so what the hell? That was drugs. You fucking smoked weed, Amber. That's drugs. So technically, you did drugs. Dude, it's... it's look, it's not... A bad, it's not a, a heinous crime doing marijuana. Every But every fucking kid has done marijuana. I, well, most uh, kids have done have done pot. Like seriously, it's like at, th at this point, pot is pretty much a, is a legal drug. Now it's a le legal treatment, so not that big of a deal. Felony based, I don't think. Well, at the time when you were doing marijuana, it was a felony, so yeah. But slander has become so popular regarding Amberlynn Reed on the internet. You, you, girl, you you fucking make yourself an easy target. You, you really do. It has become. And I'm not I'm not basing that off your weight. I'm basing that off your fucking attitude. Your weight a lot. Yes, has a lot to do with it for some people, but not for me. You could be a hundred pounds, and I wouldn't give a shit if you're acting like this. I'd still call you out and say pretty much the same thing. So. Yeah, try to call me a fat chamber bitch. To the point where my life is ruined. Well. My life is ruined because of this. And what I mean by this is that I have rumors spread about me on the daily. Things that I've never even heard of before. And I'm just like, okay. I learned something new about myself. And like... The the re yeah the thing of it is though she's not off base. Yes, there are a lot of rumors spread about Amber, and a lot of them that I've seen are so fucking stupid and totally obviously off base. And it's just like, 
why spread this shit? Why do, I mean, I really don't understand it. You know, these people obviously must not have that much of a life. But then there are the rumors based off what she's done. In fact, you know, what we've seen and what we've heard her say that has basis to it. So it's like... Like I said in my Snapchat, the Snapchat reaction, I'm just trying to figure out what the fucking truth is, okay? I don't hate you, Amber. I just want to know what the real deal is with you. I, and Because I want you to get better, and I'm just frustrated. I'm so sick and tired of this fucking circus act that you're wholeheartedly leading with... 1,000 with 1,000 percent awareness. Every single day. The things that have been said about me, some of it is yeah. very much illegal. Because it is slander. hardcore slander and behavior. Fuck, bitch, you've done the same thing, though, to people. I can't... I know that there's been instances where you've slandered people, and I can't remember, like, the instant... Like, I don't know what the... Like, the the full T is, but I've heard you slander other people. You, bitch, are you fucking kidding me? You fucking accused somebody of rape. You lied and said your ex raped you. Or sexually assaulted you or something. Are you fucking kidding me? You never apologized to that person. Never. From, from what I understand. Now, if she did, I'm wrong, and then I'm sorry about that. But, um... From what I know, you've never apologized for that. So, bitch, do not come on here talking about slander when you accuse somebody of rape. Rape. That is something that is, that is a very big allegation. More of an allegation than what you're complaining about. Fuck, bitch, please. Someone's name. And let's not forget the animal abuse that is so blatantly obvious on your videos. You throwing that cat. You scaring the dog with cleaner while you're trying to clean your bed. Like, Fuck it. Don't even. Do not even come on here and, and say you're some, you know, that all of this is bullshit. I don't sue people. I don't make a big deal. I oh, but you fucking threatened it, huh? You fucking threatened it, right? And you backed down because you knew that if it, you know that if it would have gone to court, you would have had no fucking leg to stand on. Stand on. People do what they want because people will believe what they want, when they want, how they want. That's maybe true for some people, but there are a majority of us are trying to figure out what the truth is because you cannot be truthful to save your life. Because you know why? It one, it's your narrative, and two, it gets you money. But like I said, and I'll say this plenty of times. What has this money really done for you, Amber? Has it really saved your life? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because it's fun and it's drama. It's entertainment. To people who don't have entertainment, I guess. Oh, honey, girl, honey boo boo girl. I have plenty of entertainment in my life. I have people, I actually have a legit support system of people who actually support me and don't enable me. I have, you know, I have a, I have a big, I have a, I have a good life. So, yeah. It, of their own, I don't really know. But, um, it's honestly disgusting. You're just, well, forever. you know what? You're, this, this whole thing is disgusting. Your little smug attitude is fucking disgusting. Because you sit here calling all of us out, and yet, oh, I'm so innocent. I'm a victim. Girl, you're a victim of your own fucking circumstances. And what I mean by that, you have caused a lot of this yourself. Because in the beginning, nobody hated you on this platform. It, okay? Even though you were fat, nobody hated you. You had a plenty of supporters from what I could tell. But when you started doing the shit and the mukbangs and the, and the manipulating gaslighting and all the other crap... That is when shit went down. And what the fuck do you expect, Amberlynn Reed? What do you expect? Do you think we're just going to sit down and think, Oh, good, you know, all this drama, all this, you know, don't worry, Amber. Don't worry, Amber. You can do whatever you want. doesn't matter. We're still going to love you. You're just pissed off because you're not getting the validation that you think you deserve. Okay, girl, you want respect from us? You want to get respect back? you got to fucking earn it. 
You got to earn it, girl. Because what you have done is you have... You have de you in some ways have dehumanized yourself by exploiting the self yourself the way you have. You have, and that in turn has caused people to lose any amount of respect for you. So you have done this to yourself in a lot of ways. So, girl, shut the fuck up and do what you need to do to change your life and stop fucking complaining about it that and believe that that people have nothing else better to do than do react I'm sorry guys this is a long this oh my god comments. this video is already 30 some minutes long and I'm only 12 minutes in I am so sorry if this video is long I'm going to speed it up okay because this is going to be forever if I don't and some spread lies about me but once it becomes felony based. I think uh, I think I shouldn't be allowed to speak on it because it's not okay. Oh, but it's okay for you to do it or you, you, whatever and try to lie about it, but when somebody calls I just think that people need to learn that information before mm -hmm. they go and just, hmm what should my next clickbait title be? Hmm. <gasps> Is Amberlynn Reed doctor shopping? I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title because that is the point of that is the point of YouTube. We have to find a way to get people to click on our videos because if we title it something boring, then who is gonna click on it? And that you guys is Amberlyn Reed in a fucking nutshell. Everyone clickbaits. Well, a lot of people. Some people aren't good at it, but sorry. I don't clickbait. I honestly, I don't clickbait. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I just part of me is like maybe I should do like a clickbaity title, whatever, to get more views. But I'm like, you know, that's not what I'm about. You know, stay true to myself. And I'm not trying to, you know, um, be on a pedestal or anything like that. I'm just saying. I just. My whole reasoning for YouTube isn't for the views and the money and shit like that. It's just sharing my story, my opinion. And if you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. If you watch, you watch. You don't, you don't. I don't care. I'm still going to put it up. I agree. I, um, I shadow. But I'm doing the best I can. Well, I'm not going not... anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, clickbait titles. Everyone does clickbait titles. There is nothing wrong with it because, you know, we don't have a preview of our video. There's no way of saying... What our video is about besides a clickbait title and we want people to view our video. That is the whole point of why we're on YouTube and if anyone wants to lie and deny that. I guess there's some truth to it, okay. maybe, yeah. Um, that's why maybe David Dobrik has a whole maybe there's some, merch line. Maybe there, there's some, val you know, <laughs> some, you know, you have to admit, have a catchy title. But there's a difference between having a catchy title to, gr to draw people and purely clickbaiting your critical health situation and exploiting it like you do. Amber, you're trying to compare yourself to other people when you're not, you're not, you, your, your motivations are so different from a lot of other people and you know it. Clickbait. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he has merch that says clickbait. And I so I'm not holding back, you guys. I told you, I, I, I maybe, I, I'm not going to dehumanize this girl, but I, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and swallow this shit willingly. Like seriously, I, I you bet your ass I'm going to have something to say about it. I'd be wearing it myself because I don't think he makes my size, which I can understand why not because, yeah. So, um. What? Okay, whatever. Hi, little baby. She's rubbing herself up against my leg. It's just not okay to, I don't know. It's just so wild to me. It's like reaction channels are a whole other story within themselves. People will create any sort of drama to be in the spotlight. People will leave mean comments. See, this is, this is where... This is where it's funny to me right here. People leave. This is like a whole other video. I just really wanted to talk about doctor, sh uh, doctor shaming. Love that. Doctor shopping. But now it's like I'm going off on something else. People will leave the best, the best next, the best, the best next. That's a tongue tie. <clears throat> the best next. Hey, comment so they can get the most thumbs up. Oh, real. She's like, pet me, girl. My cat does that. She will literally... 
Her cat is so cute. Aww. My cat it's does that like, too. It's trendy to be rude under my comment section. Like, who can say the best or the rudest or the funniest thing that is rude? I don't take part in that, so, I mean, I, I, I look at the comments, okay? Because I, I'm just, sometimes I'm just overwhelmed with just how mean people can be and just downright malicious but then I see the comments of people who are just like genuinely concerned and frustrated and it's like I feel you it's like a wish wash it's like a it's a mixed bag it really is dumb but then behind closed doors it's kind of like a fake friend in a way I don't know behind closed doors I get all this love and support in private messages by your enablers. I have seen with my own two eyes on my weight loss channel, my weight loss channel, my weight loss Instagram, someone leaving a horrible comment about me. I'm talking like, it wasn't like criticism or trolling. It was just like downright rude hate. So I decided to message them and guess what their response was? Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I'm so sorry. Da, da, da. And I'm just like, what is happening? I don't understand that. See, she people. can't... The problem with her is she can't differentiate between constructive criticism and hate. So if their response was, oh, I love you so much, it's probably... be, And the comment that they made is probably because they, uh... They're frustrated and they just want you to get help. That just shows me she doesn't know the difference. Right there. Is louder than love. Because I'm sorry, I'm just watching her wing because she does a good wing. To go off in the comments. And my supporters, because they've told me 700 times, she but it they're afraid it to up. be positive in my how? comments. Okay, I'm kind of curious though. Like, how, how, how does she get like right at the line here, like on top of the lash? So that noise, I don't know what it is. It's like this thingy that filters out rain. Ra I don't know. It's just really loud. So I'm sorry if you hear that. I think it's from my neighbor's house, but um, if you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's it's a uh, cranberry apple kombu kombucha. Uh, I don't drink it every day now because I've it was actually caused causing water retention, but I do drink it like a couple times a week. So there you go, and it's by Simple Truth, so it's a Kroger brand. Well, attack them for liking me. What? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to like look at yeah. really look at her wing. She's so good at and it, And the though. meaner you are as a reaction channel, the more views you are going to get. Doesn't that say something? If it don't, then... I think it's more like the more flashy you are, you know, your editing style. Like, I, look, I don't watch a lot of those real... But there are people that are, who do that and are really mean, okay? I like to watch ones that people who have actually like me, like myself, who have a valid point to make, who are not there for, like, the flash and shit like that, um, who are there to really just assess the situation. Um, I see some funny parody shit like Stacey, like, now that shit's funny. Um, Young Dumb Honey Bun, um, there's another one, and they make like, compilation videos, which sometimes they're funny. And then, I, I, but I, I don't watch the ones that are just in it, you know, for the, you know, flash and stuff like that. I just want to get more views. Because she is right. There are people, who, there are reaction channels that do that. So. But in my case, I just, I'm here to assess the situation. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what this chick is about, you know? What the, what's, what is the, re, what's the truth? And it's not for drama. It's more like, I just want to know who this girl is, really. Y'all delusional. Right along No, with I'm not delusional, you know, I have girl. my own delusions. You guys know that. You guys have yeah. been here for it. I really feel like I am going off. Oh, girl, you need to fix your subjects, line. You need like, to fix your line. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. I don't know. People just want to one-up each other in the comments. Like, who can say the worst thing? About How does she get so thin, you know, though? It's... When is it going to be old? When is it going to be boring? When is it... When is it... Well, it's not going to stop. And like it's... it's and look, it, look, as long as... Here's the thing, Amber. As long as you continue this circus act that you put on on your channel, it's not going to stop. And I hate to say that until you lose a good amount of weight, it's not going to stop. Honestly, I don't think it's ever going to really stop. I mean, you've been too much, you know, you've you know, you've been on here on here too long. 
and you've cultivated a certain kind of audience. So it's going to stay there for life, unfortunately. There are always going to be people that are going to be just throwing shade to throw shade. It's a sucky situation, but it is what it is, girl. You put yourself here. I'm going to be like this for a long time. Yep. And yes, that's how I make my money. It's I literally make money to let people abuse me and spread lies about me. And react to my videos like I am not a real person. I don't know. If it, oh, here, th okay, then this is, here, th th then, girl, if, if you're knowingly doing it to make money, mo to monetize off it, then you don't have a right to complain. You don't have a right to complain. You are letting these people do it then, right? That, is that, this is your MO? Oh, oh, um, I'm gonna let, you know, I'm gonna let them do it and complain about it to play victim you know, because it, it brings more drama to my channel. Girl, you're trash. You're trash. If you had any fucking self-respect, you, would, you wouldn't be doing this. You would get off YouTube and just live a, a life off YouTube. Because if I was being, if I, you know, here's the thing. If I was being abused like that, on YouTube, if I was in her situation, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I would just say, that's it, I'm done. I don't need this. This is not that, you know, this isn't the most of, uh, most important. I would find another way to make a living. Like, seriously. Because nothing, no amount of money is worth this. So for you to sit here and complain about it when you're knowingly allowing it to happen, I mean, she can't, you know, outright control it, but, but for knowingly, sit, you know, letting it continue, this is on you then, girl. And, and am I saying that the, the, cr the cruel shit is right? No. I'm just saying, girl, is that you have a choice to get off the train. God, I hate my boobs are so fucking big. I That's hate what them. I get paid for. That is how I pay for the roof over my head. Are we, are we supposed to feel sorry for you? Is that what you want? You want the pity? You want to be the victim, Lynn? Is that what you want? Is this what this little tantrum of yours is about? Girl. Because guess what? Personally, I don't, get, I don't feel sorry for you, girl. I don't. So go ahead and, and shake your fist and throw a tantrum and be all smug and snooty. But girl, I don't fucking, I don't fucking feel sorry for you. Like, seriously, girl? Yes. Is it frustrating sometimes, the things I have to deal with? Yes. Oh my god. Do I wish that things were just a little bit different? Yes. But they're just not. Well, it's only your own damn fault. We'll continue. The it'll it'll all just always be there. It'll always continue. It'll always be a thing. And uh, well, what do you, I have to sit back and watch it because sit back and why don't you sit back and actually start asking your asking why? I mean, really asking and really do introspection and why don't you sit back and and and, and take stock of your career on YouTube and ask yourself: Is this all of this worth it? Is this money really more important than my self-respect? No. The minute I stick up for myself, it becomes a, a war bath. I am literally... Girl, no, you ain't... This isn't you sticking, sticking up for yourself, girl. This is you fucking throwing a tantrum. There's a difference. If you were sticking up for yourself, your tone would be completely different. Your tone of the conversation would be different. Just calling it as it is. Rude. Disgusting. How could you talk like that to your, your viewers? No. You don't give a shit. That's like, why. One person can only take so much. I don't know if you guys just put me at a higher standard. Because oh there are reaction things out there. Even commenters that say vile things about me. And to me. And they get thumbs up. They get praise. But the minute I say something to stick up for myself. I am known as a mean, rude, narcissist, cruel, cruel person who doesn't deserve her subscribers and viewers. 
what I feel like I'm in a completely different planet sometimes. Like I feel like people see things that I just don't see. I don't know if people are just so in depth and so in love with the drama that they can't even just like focus on reality sometimes and like what's actually the right thing. What she say? Thing. Like trust me, sometimes I'm not morally then who doesn't deserve her subscribers and just put me at a higher standard. And um, uh, I have to sit back and watch it because no, you don't. The minute I stick up to my it's not. The rumors will continue. The hate will continue. Sorry, I was. The, uh, I was. It'll. Kidding. It'll all just always be there. It'll always continue. It'll always be a thing. And um, I have to sit back and watch it because the minute I stick up for myself, you don't have to fucking watch the reaction channels. You don't have to. Just ignore them. If it, just ignore those people who. Okay, just ignore us. Seriously, no skin off my back. If he comes a, a war bath, I am literally called rude disgusting. you are rude you talk like that to your your viewers no. you treat your viewers like shit you fucking manipulate you lie you troll all for a fucking profit girl that's shit that's trash that you're trash you guys one person, you may be human but you're trashy human you can only take so much I don't know if you guys just put me at a higher standard because there are reactions. We put you at a standard where you have a platform, you have a responsibility to be a good human being on here and have a good influence on here. You know what? You are not the only YouTuber that gets hate and gets criticism for their behavior. Look at Onision. Look at the Jake Paul. Okay, look at Gabby Hanna. Look at Nick Avocado and Trisha Paytas. They act like shit humans just like you do. Look at Foodie Beauty. They all look like shit, act like shit humans and they all get shit for it. There are pe a lot of people who are decent human beings who sit back and see this kind of behavior and we're just like, you know what? No, this is not okay and we're gonna fucking let you know about it. So girl, you want the, the narr you want the mood to change? Then honey, you're gonna have to fucking change. Point blank period. Channels out there. Sorry, I'm getting a little sassy. I'm getting I'm getting sassy assassin guys. Sorry. <laughs> Me. And they get thumbs up, they get praise. <sighs> but the minute I say something to stick up for myself, I am known as a mean, rude, narcissist, cruel, cruel person Look, who doesn't deserve I don't mind you sticking up for yourself, but girl, there's a difference between sticking up for yourself and just being a smug ass bitch. Like, seriously, this is a tantrum. This is a tan. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. I'm going to snip this because I actually might use this as my thumbnail. I love this um, try and snip it thing. It's so cool. All right, um, let's snip this because this is perfect. This just sets the mood for this video right here. Hold on. Do, do, do. Hold on, shit. All right, let me try it again. All right, here we go, people. So I have two screens, and I'm just trying to make sure I'm not getting like my other side of my screen. Alright, there we go. All I have to do is literally save it to my computer, and there we go. Alright. Alright. That's a perfect fucking screenshot, you guys. Alrighty then. Subscribers and viewers. What? I feel like I'm in a completely different planet sometimes. Narcissist, cruel, cruel, and to me. And they get thumbs up, they get praise. But the minute I say something to stick up for myself, I am known as a mean, rude, narcissist, cruel, cruel person who doesn't deserve her subscribers and viewers. Well, be you treat your... Here's the thing, Amber. In a nutshell, you have created the circus act, and it it's... I mean, you're reaping the benefits of what you've done. This is karma, girl. Karma what i feel like i'm in a completely different planet sometimes like i feel like people see things that i just don't see i don't know if people are just so in depth and so in love with the drama that they can't even just like focus on reality sometimes and like what's actually the right thing and the morally right thing like trust me 
sometimes I'm not morally correct either. Like, I have my problems, everyone has their problems, yeah. but okay. morally, what is happening in my comment section and the rumors and the hate videos, is that, like, morally correct? The rumors? <sighs> I don't know. Like, I get it. I have done some mistakes. Okay. But haven't we all? That is part of life. And you know what? There is a YouTuber who worded it perfectly, actually. When you truly sit here and absorb everything on the internet, I am just a little speck of, on YouTube. Like, I am a nobody. I have a hundred and, I think, like, 60... Thousand subscribers that is yeah but girl it doesn't matter how much how many subscribers shit you have you are fucking infamous you are infamous girl literally nothing that i'm very grateful i never thought i would have that many but compared to the bigger picture of things that is really see not she much. will up her you know she will come you know she will diminish herself when she feels it necessary to diminish her behavior and her in, in her and her impact on this platform because she has made quite an impact on this platform. She has created a new genre. Okay, like seriously, girl, you can't diminish that. No matter how much you try, you can't diminish it. And then there are other bigger YouTubers who have 20 million, 6 million subscribers and yet um they've done <laughs> I hate to compare and I hate to, you know, whatever, whatever, but they've done far worse things than I've ever done. And they don't have half as much hate as I do in their comment section. They don't have reaction channels. You know, they, they have, there's people who, you know, do compilations of their stuff and whatever, whatever. But you guys, they have thumbs up. They have tons of thumbs up. They have so many supporters and just like lovers. Because those probably, people are probably genuine people. Like, oh my God, she is so dumb. But my hate for things that, some of it's not even real that you guys are hating for, and then some of it is so small compared to the big grand scheme of things where these people with millions and millions and millions and millions of followers and subscribers who have done way worse than me still have a following. You know what? Yeah, they probably do. They're, you know, here's the thing though, Amber. They don't have self-respect. They don't have respect from that audience. A lot of their viewers and audience are probably haters. Okay, probably people who are disgusted and will let them know about it. She, she is... Oh my god. <laughs> Just because a person has a lot of followers and views, does that make them a good YouTuber? Well, she's definitely... Well, what am I saying? She is saying that. But does that in any way value make them more valuable more, better than an, another YouTuber it's how you behave on the platform she's saying that but she doesn't understand it she only wants to understand a, her near, her version of that and what she doesn't understand is her despicable, be despicable behavior is what has caused this all this backlash like, oh my god. That loves them. There is a channel who worded that better than I can, but that's crazy to me. I am easily hated. I am easy to hate. I am a punching bag to those who are miserable in their life. You know, I'm agnostic, and if God is real, this is what he chose for me, you know? Sometimes I think about that a lot. You fucking chose this for yourself. Don't pawn it off on God. Bitch, please. Because I do believe in, like, the universe. Here we go on another different, like, tangent and subject. I firmly believe that everyone has a path in their life. And what you're currently going through, the person watching this, that is what your path was meant to be like. You know, no matter what you did, this is where you were meant to be. And sometimes I ask myself, why, almost like, why was I put on this earth to go through, like, go through this? Why me? What makes me so, like, hateable? Compared to the next person who... Your fucking attitude, your manipulation, your gaslighting, and your clickbait of your critical health issues is what makes you head hateable. The fact that you cannot tell the truth to save your fucking life is what makes you hateable. 
The fact that uh, after six years of being on YouTube that you still don't fucking get it is fucking... That's on you. That's far worse things than me. And I don't want to drop names because I don't think that's appropriate. I'm not a reaction channel. I'm not here to judge people. I just don't understand the double standard on YouTube. I honestly will never understand it in my whole entire life. I'll never get it. And a lot of people say, stop comparing yourself. It's not about that anymore, sis. That's just easy for you to say so you can be in your delusional land. So you don't have to be like, oh, wow, wait, Amberlynn's actually right. No, it's easy. Stop comparing yourself. No, I'll do what I want, honestly. It's a double standard. You can't look at two different YouTubers and be like, it's totally fine for them to, this, to do this. But if Amberlynn does it, nope. Nope. That's not okay. Like, what land is this? I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm... You know, this is what I said in the last video. Just because somebody else does it, doesn't mean that you have to do it. She wants... Okay, she wants to do bad shit and be justified for it. And just use the trope, well, you know... People, other people do it and they don't get the shit. Girl, if they jumped up a bridge, would, would you do it too? Like, seriously? My fucking god. She's such a child. This is so childish. I, you know, this is what I'm going to label these. Childish rants. Twilight Zone or something is just off. And it just boils down to... It's super easy to hate me. It has become... Yeah, because of how you fucking behave. The fact that you don't understand that just shows how much how clueless you are, how much of a narcissist you are. Your narcissism is showing through so much right now. A trend, I... I don't know why, but when I'm thinking about this, I want to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Like, I don't know what, why that came up in my head. I'm like, I want to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Like, what, what the... I don't want to talk about it or go, like, in-depth with how it's ruined my life. And you did it to yourself. The reputation I have. And a lot of people are going to sit here and be like, you've made that reputation for yourself. Yes, no, true. No, I actually really haven't. Yes, you did. <laughs> 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 God, why didn't I? Why I need I need a fucking drink. Like seriously, this is hilarious. This is comedy, man. A very morbid version of comedy, but still. Y'all did. Y'all created that. Oh my god. You mean? Oh my. We don't. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Seriously, Amber. Serious. Oh my god. How many more? Oh my god, I'm, we're almost done. There, nobody goes off on somebody unless there is a, a r good reason for it. And there are so many people going off on you, Amber. Legit people who are were supporting you and then got sick of it, your, your bullshit, and started going after you. They would do that without reason. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my but god. And every single time I share a story about my past, like on live stream or something. Oh my god. I'll share a story about my past and I get called a liar. Constantly. Well, and I can't speak for those people, but... And then people will take that story, rewrite it, create their own, like, fan fiction moment, and that'll be the truth, because they said so. What about those instances where you've set... Ma where you've, uh... Um... Where you've basically... had stories on here okay and um sorry that was I'm trying to do something on my phone okay where you've uh recounted stories about your past and then people from your actual past your family have actually called you out and said no this isn't true I don't know what the particular instances are, but Amber, that is another reason why people are saying you're a liar, because you've actually lied about your own past. See, when you lie so much, that when you lie as much as she does, 
eventually, you know, you're going to call wolf, play, you know, you're going to, what's that saying? Um, cry wolf. And when you're actually telling the truth, people aren't going to believe you because you've lied so much, which is the definition of crying wolf. So if this is you crying wolf, girl, you have caused this to yourself. I'm not going to lie. I have um, seen reaction channels. Good. They're all over. They pop up on my recommendation. And sometimes oh I'll go through in the comments just because I'm a curious cat. I, get curious I don't get a lot. I don't get so a lot of comments. The comments and I don't get a lot of comments. So people will ask a question about me. That's I actually a really pretty look color. What is that? To the reactor or just to the people in the comments in general and hope for a response. And so people respond to it with false information. I'm just like, what? I don't know. People think that they know, like, my full-fledged life. And <clears throat> wow. I will sit there and literally open up and tell you guys about something in my life. And you guys will take whatever I said and create your own narrative. I think what you do is you create something that is more fun for you guys. More entertaining and more fun to talk about. Instead of taking the real things that I am saying. I'm sorry. I always take forever to do my mascara. And I think a big part of it is, right now, is I am missing some eyelashes on this side. And it just does not look cute at all. So that's what I'm currently going through. Um, but I just feel like people love creating another hot story about me, another thing to talk about, another tea. And it's it's mind blowing that like when I'm doing good, losing weight, I have no drama going on. People will either create drama or they'll talk about something that happened forever ago, like years ago, like four years ago. And I'm just like, oh, this again. Well, when you don't apologize for something like, you know, accusing your ex of rape, yeah, people are going to still talk about it. It's a horrible thing to do. That's a horrible thing to do. And to not apologize for it? Bitch, please. Like, it's never going to end. This whole thing is never going to end. No matter how much I apologize. No, because you, no you say, haven't no changed. Say, what you guys are saying isn't true. You guys are just spreading false information. No matter what I say, you guys will believe what you want and spread the information you that you want to spread because it's fun for you and unfortunately I'm the only one who has to deal with the consequences you guys just don't get to have fun and watch from the sidelines so so on your logic then you're just gonna have fun with us and troll that doesn't solve the problem you stupid bitch like seriously I'm 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 calling her shit because I'm saying stupid bitch because she's being a stupid bitch. She's being a silly little tit. Like, it's, girl, girl. I'm sick today. Mm. Like droplets. Um, I think this is one of the biggest reasons why my face looks really dewy a lot of the time. Is because well, duh, of because ultra luminous dewy skin mist. Honestly, obviously. Like it, anyways, I have ranted super hard in this video, and it feels so good. It feels so good to just talk, and I really needed this for myself because I'm just so. You need the drama for your channel yeah, because it's dying. Like with a surgical mask on, it's just like so sad. <laughs> you you literally needed this drama because you're look. I've looked at her stats. Her her stats are going down. So this is perfect drama for her. So sad what we're going through. Oh, now I'm having anxiety about that. So I feel like my makeup turned out okay. I really wish I could have put on fake um lashes because I feel like. That would make this look look better, in my opinion, but, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, it feels so good to rant. I think I might do this more often, because it feels amazing to just get this all off my chest. I'm so tired of people just, like, talking shit. Like, bottom line, that's all it is. And even after this video, ooh, what are the reaction channels going to say? What kind of mean comments are going to be down below? Anyways, whatever. Um, I'm actually going to have a fun day today. So Her attitude. I hope you guys did enjoy my little ranting moment. If you like me ranting, trust me, I can continue this. Mm, I don't mean to be a negative Nancy, but, I mean... It is what it is. Anyways, for the people who love me and support me, my reputation is horrible. So the fact that you're still here, that means you must really like me and know who I am as a person. And you're able to see through all the, the stupid stuff in the comments and the reaction channels. And I appreciate that more than anything. So anyways, I'm going to go now. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Wow, Amber. The thing is, here's the thing. You feed into the problem that you're complaining about by doing this girl like I said I just want to know the truth and I just you know it's so hard with you Amber because you've lied so much in the your past has 
you've created this. That's saying just the, she is so in denial right now. She's on a hot, here's the thing. She's on a power trip right now and she's on top of the world and, and shit. Well, you know what, girl, you're on a, be on your little power trip, girl. Like, but it doesn't make you look any better, girl. So sorry. I, I know, I, sweetie, I know you think that this is, you know, you getting back at the, the reaction channels, but honey, no, no, sis, doesn't work, sis, I'm sorry, 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 you know what's the, uh, uh, South Park, we're sorry, 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 <laughs> I actually, uh, saw the episode the other day, um, the, the BP guy, uh, uh, Saying sorry for the oil spill in that show. I just... <laughs> that always gets me. Anyways, um, wow. This... This has been a, a fucking circus. Like, oh my god. The circus is in full swing. Holy crap. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to this. I know I'm not the most exciting commentator and I know I look like shit my bed looks like shit and people are just like oh my god you can do this you can do that like you guys like I do these videos just to kick back and relax and just to you know whatever so um not that I'm you know using Amber as a punching bag I I just I just genuinely want to know what this girl is really about I want to sift through the crap and just get to the the heart of it, you know what I mean? And it's so hard when she is literally putting her foot in her own mouth and kicking her ass with the other. Like, seriously. Alright, I'm done because I want to stream. I'm still streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey and I will be for quite a while because that game is freaking massive. Like, seriously, I had to restart it a while back ago because... I killed somebody in the game that I wasn't supposed to way too early, and I know, knew that it would affect the rest of the game, because it's that kind of game. So, I had to go back to the beginning, and I'm, you know, whatever. Also, um, I finally found the software that I think I'm going to use from now on, because um, XSplit isn't working. It's crap. I'm not, it's crap from my computer. It should work for the... Windows 10, but I'm beginning to think it only works on certain computers. Um, they have a list of like who works with them, and it's MSI and ASUS. So I think those are the two brands of computers with the the you know the Windows 10 software that will let the expert work pr properly. Because my computer is reading that this version that I have on my computer is actually for Windows 8. And I don't know why. I really don't know what the deal is with that. And I've, I've, uh, you know, um, I've, del you know, deleted it off my apps, you know, taken it off my computer and re-downloaded it. And it still doesn't make a difference. I've even asked the s support to just send me a link to a Windows 10 version. Okay, and they won't do that. They, 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 they're, they're trying to do it another way, and they haven't succeeded. And I think they were just to give me a link to, like, a version that's just for Windows 10, purely for Windows 10. I think that um, I'd be able to use it. So, um, it's sort of like the same thing that happened when... Um, I, on my other computer, I was using the Elgato software or whatever, and what basically what happens, and this is what happens with XSplit, and, um, is that whenever I have the software up and running and I'm not even streaming, it brings my internet speed down, and even my CPU down, and I'm thinking maybe I should find a, you know, a, a streaming software that doesn't take, you know, that isn't using the CPU so much, but the only problem is, is that it's fucking expensive. It's really expensive, and you know, you can all in this light stream, for example, even the their highest resolution is 720 over 60. I'm like, what the fuck? Like seriously? Like you can't even go into 900 a six over 60? Like, you know, you know what I mean, right? It's just so stupid. So I have been actually streaming on the Twitch studio. I've had a lot more success with that recently, and I, that's what I'm going to be sticking with. I tried with OBS, but um, I just, it just didn't work with my stream well. And I did not, I, I tried Streamlabs, and that's even worse 
So I'm sticking with Twitch Studio because Studio because I think that is the best app for streaming right now, in my opinion. Um, but um, I'm not saying that XSplit is bad. When it was working, it was really good. I was able to stream at a really well. My streams looked pretty bomb, and then all of a sudden, it just pff, went to shit. When a new download, when I got a new download, it just went to, oh, ugh, went to complete shit. So it's just like. I'm hoping that maybe when the new download comes out, then maybe it'll fix the problem. But um, I can't be sure because apparently they just uh, they had to have automatic downloads. So I don't know, but they need to do something because I'm not the only one that's having this problem. And the fact that I paid for this, even though I, now I have like a a founder's license, um, you know, it's just like it should work. It should work. All right. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment below. You know the drill. Um, hope you guys are happy, healthy, and safe. Please stay that way. Um, and enjoy your week, week and weekend. You know, and get out there when this, when the weather is good. Um, just you know, fall. You know, practice the social distancing guidelines, and you know, practice. You know, you know, just stay sanitary. You know what I mean? Like I know it's not easy with the coronavirus, with this coronavirus thing, but like, you know. We, we just got to live our lives. Okay, so, all right. I'm rambling too much, and I got to wash my face because I feel, God, I feel like my face is oily. Oh, my God, my, my camera. All right, I will see you guys later. Love you guys.